I think in 2011 we will continue to see recovery in the global economy, but it will be a very uneven recovery and one characterised by quite a lot of turbulence and bumps along the way. By uneven, I mean it'll be much stronger in Asia and other emerging markets than in the West, which will continue to be bedeviled by the difficulties of deleveraging. And by bumps and turbulence, I think there's lots of issues around the macroeconomic imbalances in the world, the difficulties of exiting from fiscal and monetary stimulus, the issues around uh, capital flows, and I think that will require quite careful navigation. I think the first thing we have to do is recognise that we are in a new world of risk, that volatility is the norm. So companies need to adapt the way they run themselves to accept a greater degree of volatility. And that means the way your governance operates, the way your risk management operates, have to change. I also think it means that companies need to be very externally oriented. They need to have their radar screens um, working so that they can see what's going on and anticipate new sources of risk. I think business has a huge role to play in ensuring that growth in the developing economies is sustainable and balanced. That's both an opportunity for us, but it's also an obligation on us. It's a responsibility for us to make sure that it's not just about next year's profit, but that it's creating platforms for sustainable economic prosperity. The key norms, the, the absolute first point, is that we need to recognise that we are increasingly interdependent and that we are diverse. That's a starting point. We share so much in the world in terms of the, the strain on natural resources, the challenge of climate change. If there's one thing the financial crisis demonstrated, it was the economic interdependence of the world. And we must also recognise the diversity. People are coming at things from very different perspectives, with very different value sets, with very different starting points in terms of wealth and history. And if we're going to come together to tackle some of these big issues, we have to start by acknowledging these differences. I think the first thing to recognise about sustainability from a company competitive perspective is that sustainability isn't something you stick on the outside of your strategy to make it look better. Sustainability has to be built into the very fabric of what you're doing as a company. It has to be part of the way you work. Being a positive force in the economies and societies in which you operate has to be deeply embedded. 